So in this video I'm going to show you how I got to this final image from the original JPEG. So I'm in Lightroom, I go to the Develop tab, and just ensure that Shadow Clipping and Highlight Clipping are enabled. And what that will do is show us in red any pixels that are pure white and too bright for the image and it will show any pixels in blue that are pure black. My first step will be go to the basic panel and I'm just going to click the auto button and we can see what's happened. I've got a lot of pure black here underneath the car. In fact I've got too much because if I print this image anything that is pure black will just be a big untextured mass of pure black. So I'm going to create an adjustment brush. All my sliders are at zero apart from the exposure which I have at default at minus four and the reason for that is purely so I can see where I'm brushing. And I can see that I've brushed over there and it's made everything darker. If I double click exposure it will reset that value to zero so now the brush has had no effect at all. If I hover over the clip I can see where I've still got selected and if I just raise the shadows slightly and the blacks a little bit you see all that pure black is now gone. I'm going to create another new brush I'm going to create over that area all these areas where I've got little red specks I can see that it's too bright. Again I'm going to double tap the exposure slider just to reset it and then I'm going to bring the whites down until the red areas disappear and at minus 4 already they have gone even with such a subtle adjustment which is perfect so I'm going to click done and next I'm going to do another new brush and I'm going to focus on the wheels just try to bring a little more of their detail out so let's just brush over and that one double tap the exposure slider I'm just going to lift the shadows a fraction and the clarity. I'm going to do another new brush and I'm going to do a similar thing on the front of the car on these grills so in there along here and this grill over. Okay double tap exposure to reset the slider I'm just going to lift the shadows lift the clarity I'm just going to lift the highlights a little just to amplify the Beach Dean sign. OK, I'm going to click Done. So looking at the rest of the image, I can see two dots, one there, one there, that look suspiciously like there was dirt on the sensor when I took the image. So I'm going to go to the Spot Removal tool. It's on Heal. And I'm literally just going to use the square brackets to make the brush the correct size. And I'm just going to click over it click on it and on that one and in both cases Lightroom will look for a, a suitable point to sample images from to copy over the top of it and as I can't see where either was it has been successful I'm going to make a local brush I'm going to make it bigger and I'm just going to brush around the car because I want to bring some detail up in this tarmac. So again double tap to reset that slider and I'm going to lift the clarity and the texture. And that's had the effect of just adding these highlights look into the curb. So what I'm going to do is just another new brush just over that area and again so it's just subtle tiny changes that make the difference here click done and now to finalize the image I'm just going to darken this edge because it's quite a lot brighter than this one and the brightest point in the image I would prefer it if it was the car because it would draw your eye in more so I'm going to use graduated filters but rather than use one and make a big adjustment I'm going to do lots of tiny 
subtle adjustments and build them up. So point one of a stop. I rarely do these perfectly horizontally or vertically because it's too easy to see them. I just do them at different angles and just build it up, build it up, build it up. Okay. Now if I look on the keyboard, there is a key on the Mac, it is next to the enter key, and it's a vertical straight line. On my PC on the keyboard, it's the other side, just above shift. But if you press the key with the vertical line, it will toggle the two states from the image as you took it to the edited version. This blue band is, is a little... Um, distracting for me so I'm just gonna come down and lower only the blue just a little bit just taking some of the saturation out I'm happy at that so finally I'm gonna make my crop I'm gonna crop in center of the wheel on the third I've got more space in front of the car for it to travel into than there is behind it. Yes, I'm happy at that. I'm going to click done. Now I also would like a 16 by 9 crop to use on my PC. But rather than destroy this 2x3 ratio master crop, I'm going to hit photo, create virtual copy. Then I'm going to go to the crop tool, 16 by 9, just position the car where I wish for it to be, and click done. That's my final image, and I'm going to press F, which will allow us to see it full screen. I hope the tutorial has been helpful, uh, please subscribe, thank you very much.